Okay, uh, mine was uh, uh, page 239. It wasn't really a number, but it said uh, simple to complex. Uh, how many times have you walked to your classroom and asked uh, questions such as, uh, what's the law of the conservation of energy and had deer in the headlight look? Like, I don't even know what conservation means, kind of thing. Um, start out simple. The book says, uh, effectively questions, effective questions initially uh, engage students thinking about a topic in contained, concrete ways and then push them to think more deeply and broadly. Uh, so when you're talking about energy, I'm a, sci a fifth grade science teacher, so I want to start out with saying, what's the definition of energy or what is energy? And then I wait and find out that it's the ability to do work. Well, what is work? Uh, my dad goes to work. Well, work is the transfer of energy. So those two go hand in hand. And so when you're thinking about energy and all the electrons working to create something, such as uh, a different type of energy, uh, they can kind of uh, grasp what that concept is. Uh, then it goes into a stair step of something a little bit different. What are the two types of energy? Well, when you taught your lesson, you know that there's two, potential and kinetic. And then those are classified into different forms of energy, such as mechanical and electrical and solar. And they start getting higher level questions. So what are, the, uh, what are some forms of energy? Well, they have to start thinking. Well, which one? There's six, six or seven that he's taught us. What's the seventh one? And they have to think about it. Um, the initial point of that is to go into another stair step that uh, energy uh, can transform from one form to another, okay? Which gets you to the point of the law of the conservation of energy, which means that, that energy cannot be created nor destroyed but it can transform from one form to another. Starting out simple and then getting their minds to slowly get to turning and, and working into a more complex and more broad manner. Uh, not throwing too much at them at one time so that you, can't, you don't get that deer in the headlight look. And uh, they're actually participating in the discussion and interacting and engaged with, with the other students and the teacher.